Good morning, girls and boys. This is Teacher Ramsey once again, and we are going to be doing your first math lesson today. Uh, today we're just doing a bit of math review. We are going to do some addition, subtraction, and some multiplication. Hopefully you are familiar with all of these. Uh, let's look into this. We start on page six in your homework packet. This is the new homework packet. Uh, check it out. This page has addition and subtraction on it, all right? So I'm gonna help you out with the first few problems here. Now this is just a review, all right? Um, and make sure, first of all, that you pay attention to these wonderful signs here, okay? Don't start doing a addition if it says subtraction and don't start doing subtraction if it says addition, okay? so. Um, first, it looks like we are going to have to do some borrowing here, okay? So um, six minus seven, we can't do that, all right? So I am going to cross out this three, replace it with a two, and now I'm bringing this group of 10 over here. All right, now I have 16 minus seven. 16 minus seven, I can do that, okay? So let's count down from 16, all right? And you are going to get nine. All right, next we have two minus two, all right, which is zero, which we don't even need that there. Okay, so 36 minus 27 is nine. All right, now let's check this out, make sure it makes sense in our head, okay? When I do problems like this, sometimes I don't like to do the borrowing in my head because sometimes it gets confusing, all right? So I'm just gonna add one to this problem. 36 plus one is 37. 37 minus 27, that is a lot easier in my head. 37 minus 27, well, seven minus seven is zero. Three minus two is one, all right? So that makes sense to me, okay? Because we just added one and 10 is one more than nine. Maybe that helps you, hopefully. I hope I didn't confuse you, okay? If not, stick with your borrowing method here, okay? 16 and then 16 minus seven is nine, okay? Now, let's look at this next one. This is an addition problem here. All right, um, four minus one. Oh, teacher's doing subtraction. Four plus one is five, all right? And six plus one is seven all right 14 plus 61 is 75 all right next one we are doing subtraction again here one minus seven well we can't do that again uh because one is smaller than seven so i am going to cross out this five and write four and now i'm going to borrow this one group of ten and i'm going to put it over here now i have 11 11 minus seven i know that that is four, okay? And then four minus four is zero, which we don't even need that in our answer, okay? So 51 minus 47 is four, all right? That's our first three math problems. Let's try and do a few more, shall we? All right. Hey, these are all addition here, okay? So I'm just gonna help you out with the first row. I want you kids to do this whole thing for your homework, okay? Uh, one plus six is seven, and seven plus eight is, OMG, that is 15. All right, you should be having a grand total of 157. All right, next we have nine plus seven. Now nine plus seven is 16. So I'm gonna put the six down and I need to carry this one all the way over here because we can't put it down in our answer column yet. We gotta add up all these other numbers, all right? So what I like to do when I start adding lots of numbers, it gets me confused. So I like to make groups of 10, okay? So I know that nine plus one is 10 and then I will add this four, giving me 14, okay? So, we could have just written the four and then carry the one over here, but there's no more numbers here, so I just put it in the answer column. All right, next, 20 plus 93. 
Well, zero plus three is three, and two plus nine is 11. Last time I checked, you should have 113. So once again, I'm just helping you out with the first row. I want you to do this entire page for homework. And we are not finished yet, boys and girls, uh, because we still need to do some multiplication, my favorite. All right, this is page eight. I have skipped page seven because we are going to do that tomorrow. All right, so your job is just try to do page six and page eight for homework. Um, and then if you have any questions, you can ask me in class, okay, on Zoom, or you can ask me when you see me at school next week, all right? So I'm gonna help you out with this first row here. All right, let's look at problem number one. This is all multiplication or times. We say four times four, all right? And um, maybe some of you are still having some trouble with your multiplication tables. That's okay. That's why we're in school. So if you're doing multiplication, it's important that you just think of the, these as groups, okay? We can say four times four. We can also say four groups of four. So I'm gonna mark that out for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. All right. I have now made four groups of four. Let me get a nice green pencil. Group number one. Group number two. Group number three. And group number four. All right. So I have four groups of four. If you count all these up, you will find that you will get to 16. All right. So you can do it this way, although uh, you should try to memorize, which means commit to memory, keep all these numbers in your head, your whole multiplication tables, okay? So, so whatever you're having trouble with, maybe you know all of your multiplication tables up to your fives, okay? Five times five, four times five, all that good stuff. So if you're finished with those, move on, okay? Try to do your six multiplication tables or maybe all of your eights okay and try and put all of those numbers in your brain do we know what eight times eight is eight times nine maybe you know all the way up to ten times ten which is good okay now if you do know ten times ten try to do elevens and twelves and thirteens okay keep going put all of those wonderful numbers in your head all right so once again four times four is sixteen uh, now, zero times eight, we could also say zero groups of eight. So that's why anything times zero is still going to be zero, okay? Um, which makes our math problem very easy. But it's just zero groups of eight, which is nothing, all right? Then we have six times six. Now, once again, I have committed these to memory, okay? I have known all these answers since I was your age, and it's important that you start trying to remember them yourself because these are going to come up on many, many tests this year when we start doing more difficult math. And if you are going like this for every single math problem and trying to make groups of six, you will be counting for a long, long time and all of your friends will be finished with their math test. All right, uh, let's keep going here. Oh, this one you lucked out. I believe there's only five in every row, okay? One times nine or one group of nine is still nine. And then we have three times seven, which is three groups of seven. All right, this is 21. Um, one more fun thing about multiplication is that you can do these numbers in reverse and you'll get the same answer, okay? So if you know uh, three times seven, if you've memorized all of your threes, then you will have some of the answers when dealing with the sevens, okay? So three times seven is the same as seven times three. It's still going to be 21 here. Okay, and this works for every multiplication problem. One times nine is the same as nine times one. And same thing with all these ones we just did back here. Yeah, uh, 
zero times eight is the same as eight times zero, and six times six is obviously the same as six times six, and same with four times four. All right, but that does work if you have seven times eight or eight times seven, it will always be the same answer. All right, that is your math lesson for today, boys and girls. Um, hopefully I will see you at our Zoom class later today. Um, please pick up your homework packets at school. This is page six and page eight, all right? That is your first assignment. If you have not done that, do that, okay? And then you can do all of these wonderful math problems. That's it for today, kids. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.